welcome back friends to this new video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can edit image files sent via whatsapp on photoshop and save it in different formats like jpg or pdf in best quality possible now sometimes you might have also encountered the problems like here I have some image files sent on whatsapp here is a photo that has been clicked from a mobile screen and the photo of a page from a notebook that we have to clear it and make it as a PDF so here is the photo and in here this photo must be cropped to proper size and the page must be converted into a document that can be sent to any person so for this we need to just download these images on a folder then close this page go to the folder if you double click to open it in an image viewer you can see the details the reflections on the mobile screen are clearly visible and we need to make it a proper photograph and in this another picture you can see the image of a page this is tilted sideways we need to straighten it out if you try to open these images downloaded from whatsapp on photoshop it will not open directly it will give you this error message that jpg marker is missing this is common problem with whatsapp downloaded images so you cannot possibly directly edit it in photoshop but there is a simple workaround you just need to open these images one by one in microsoft paint and just click here save or alternatively you can press ctrl s or from the file menu click save do it with the other document also now we can open this directly in photoshop here i am dragging the image from here and it has been opened directly and i am clicking the other one with open with photoshop as you can see the image has opened so now one by one we will edit it the first photograph we need to crop the picture so that the mobile screen is not visible and only the frame can be visible from here we can adjust this cropping rectangle to simply match the borders as much as possible now use the select tool go to layers double click on this lock icon click ok to unlock this layer and press ctrl T to free transform you can press ctrl and plus to zoom in and by holding down the ctrl key just press and hold and drag your mouse button like so to match the frame release the control key and press enter then again select the arrow tool go to image adjustments levels and you can adjust the levels to match the image and save it as jpeg from here keep it default settings click ok and this is the photo that is done now with the next image we need to create the document as pdf in a4 size format so accordingly we will unlock the layer by double clicking on the lock button and go to new file presets select international paper and size whatever you like I will select a4 here this is the standard size resolution will be 300 click OK and in this new page we will hold our mouse button and drag it to this new page like so then we can press ctrl T and hold down the shift button while moving or dragging the mouse button so that it resizes proportionately after adjusting it to the page here we can rotate by holding down on this corner marker of the selection tool then press enter now 
you need to select the rectangular marquee tool to make a selection of the required area press ctrl x to cut as a layer and ctrl v to paste the layer then we need to select using this arrow tool the first layer and drag it to the recycle bin icon then select the layer 2 and again press ctrl t and hold down ctrl button to straighten this out while you drag your mouse over these top corners to make it flattened out press enter when you are done and then again select the rectangular marquee tool and cut out the area that is required if you have selected using the rectangular marquee tool then to properly adjust its selection go to select click transform selection and then you can find adjust this selection like so if you want you can hold down the control button and then you can select like so press enter when done press ctrl x again and ctrl v again to paste delete the earlier layer now you are left with this layer 3 go to this arrow selection tool now we need to match the background of this layer with the a4 size page white background go to image adjustments hue saturation and make this saturation zero and lightness to your appropriate liking this is suitable for a black and white document because in order to remove the patches of color you need to remove this saturation then you can go to image adjustment and levels and properly adjust this level to match the background color of this layer with the background color of the a4 size page then you need to select the brush tool from here and we need to erase out those patches and to select the background color just hold on to alt key on your keyboard while clicking on the background color to increase or decrease the brush size use the shortcut keys that are shown on the screen and use a hardness of 30 to 40 percent and remove all the patches whichever you can so this document looks little bit cleaned from before now we can again go to image adjustments and levels to adjust all the brightness and contrast and match the text as black and the background as white so this is done now we can go ahead and save it as jpeg go to save as click on jpeg and give a name and save it. and also we can save it as a document like pdf go to this pdf format and save it here you can see these are the files that are created this was the original image and this is the edited image that looks proper and also the PDF that has been created we can straighten out these curved lines with puppet transform tool but that is a topic for another video but it looks quite good that can be sent to anyone or printed directly on a A4 size paper and this was the photograph that was taken from a mobile screen and this is how it looks it looks directly taken from a camera so i hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new see you in the next video till then goodbye